The next topic is about how red drum and spotted sea trout connect our bays and estuaries to the Gulf. Two of our most popular saltwater fish to catch and eat are red drum and spotted sea trout. Healthy estuaries allow both species to thrive. Yet like shrimp and many other species that live in the estuaries, red drum and spotted sea trout lead a dual life. They also spend part of their time in the deeper, open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The way they split their lives between the two ecosystems shows how two closely related species can have very different adaptations to thrive in the variable conditions of Texas's bays and estuaries. First, let's talk about spotted sea trout. Spotted sea trout spawn in coastal bays, estuaries, and lagoons. They prefer to do this in shallow, grassy areas where eggs and larvae have cover from predators. The eggs hatch in about 18 hours. The larvae feed mostly on zooplankton. In about 20 days, they become juveniles or miniature versions of the adult. As they grow, they begin feeding on benthic invertebrates and tiny shrimp. Then, as they get larger, they turn to larger side shrimp and small fish. When they get large, they feed almost exclusively on other fish. Throughout their life, spotted sea trout prefer to remain near seagrass beds and oyster reefs looking for prey. But if the water gets too cold during fall or winter, sea trout move into the Gulf of Mexico. The open ocean is such a large body of water, such a huge amount of water, that it simply doesn't change temperature as fast as the shallow estuaries do. As water temperatures warm in the spring and the summer, the fish return to the shallows of the bays and estuaries. The species has evolved the strategy of using the food-rich cover of seagrass beds and oyster reefs in the estuaries and bays as long as the shallow waters are warm enough. But when it gets too cold, fish move into the gulf and wait for the bays and estuaries to warm back up. Now let's turn to red drum. Adult red drum live in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. They spawn in the high salinity waters near an entrance to a bay where high tidal current flow will carry the eggs and larval fish into the bay and estuary. Young red drum in the estuaries are most abundant in water from about one to four feet deep where there are seagrass beds. They also are found around other structures, such as around jetties and pier pilings. They're opportunistic feeders and they grow fast. Young fish feed on small crabs, shrimp, and marine worms. As the redfish grow, they feed on larger crabs, shrimp, and smaller fish. Red drums stay in Texas bays and estuaries until they become mature. Now, this may occur as early as three years of age or as late as six years, depending on the individual fish. But when they mature, they move into the Gulf of Mexico and live there for the rest of their lives, usually staying within about five miles of shore. <laughs>